of Freaks. Happy Wednesday. This is what our Wednesday looks like in North Kakalaki. It is raining, cats and dogs. It is gray and dark. That rain woke me up this morning, y'all, and I went right back to sleep. Look, Tiff, Tiffany Passion, my beautiful, beautiful. Oh, God, I love them so much. When the wind blows, they sound so beautiful. As you can see, I took down all of my Christmas decorations. We are back to normal. Yay, except for these, I did leave these. And of course, I leave these all year round. I never take them down, so. All right, I'm gonna have a nice little double tree haul to share with you guys later on. But I'm just starting my morning, reading my scriptures, and getting ready to post them. But I just wanted to show you guys what our weather looks like right now in North Kekalaki. Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. I have another, I would say, medium Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I have not been out of town this week yet. I've just been laying around. I tried to clean the house a little bit today. But let's jump right into this because it's not, it's not that much. Okay. Okay, my sweets, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. The first item I'm going to show you guys today is something that they marked down to 25 cents. I would never have tried this at $1.25 because hot stuff is not my thing. Even though I love hot stuff, it doesn't love me, okay? But they had these hot sauces marked down to 25 cents at... I believe all the Dollar Trees, but this one I got only because it had garlic in bold print and I love anything garlic. So this says Aztec's Revenge, Garlic Ancient Flame, Mexican style hot sauce. It is a three fluid ounce bottle and it's Best Buy is August 27, 2023. And it looks like this. And I'm excited to try it simply because it says garlic. Those other ones that they had there, Montezuma and all this other stuff, uh-uh, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you. So I'm going to try this. I'm excited to try this. My sister made some chicken, and I'm going to try this on, on that chicken. And I have a couple of repurchases here. These are my Donald Duck um, orange juices. Y'all know the, dr the drill, 20 fluid ounces. They had the Minute made there as well, but they're much smaller. You get a lot more for your money when you get these and these are all have almost become like a dessert for me y'all know I put them in the freezer let them get to a little slushy consistency <clears throat> and then I just enjoy it I just absolutely absolutely love them and they just restocked these because they were completely empty on these so let me see if I can find oh there it is Best Buy, September 13th, 2023. Yeah, so the other ones I think were like August. So they just filled these in. So I was able to grab those. And we needed some more syrup in the house. And they only had two of these on the shelf at my local, local Dollar Tree right now. So I grabbed one of these. These are the repurchase, the Utopia Original Pancake Syrup. Since the Dollar Tree started carrying the regular syrup and the butter syrup, I have not bought syrup in the grocery store in Eon. So $1.25 for this big bottle. It is a 24 fluid ounce. And let's see when the Best Buy or expiration date is. The Best Buy is June 30th, 2023. So $1.25, more bang for your buck, okay? And this is a, re a repurchase, but not from the Dollar Tree. I found these at my little local roses on um, when I used to go on Wednesday for Senior Citizen Day, which would have been today, but I didn't go. But my local Dollar Tree finally got these, and at roses, these were only a dollar. So, but at y'all know Dollar Tree, they were a dollar twenty-five. These are the little cereal straws. These are in the Kellogg's Fruit Loops. It's one point seven six ounce, one point seventy six ounces. And again, you can get the same package um, at Roses for just a dollar. But since I was at Dollar Tree, I just went ahead and grabbed them. 
their best buy date is August 19th, 2023. And you don't have to just drink milk with this. You could drink whatever you want, but most of the time these are like for kids to drink their cereal milk out of. So, you know, $1.25, I grabbed it. I was planning on making tacos yesterday for Taco Tuesday, but my sister made goulash. So we've been eating on that goulash, but I did um, purchase a pack of the Old El Paso taco seasoning mix. I've been on the lookout for the new ones that they have out, but my stores have not gotten them yet. This is um, June 20th, 2023. Y'all know we love these. I have a taste for tacos and I'm going to make them because I bought all the sides to make my tacos. So I'm going to make those next. And then let's see what else we got coming up. Okay, my sweets. I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger and got the four pack of the Reese's Peanut Butter Hearts. These are the milk chocolate and peanut butter snack sizes. You get four in the package. And at first I wasn't going to buy these, but I know with my sister here, she'll, she'll probably eat these. So I did want to go ahead and get two of these because they look so cute. And let's see, the best buy date or expiration date on these is um, June 2023. And I'm not sure if they're individually packaged or if they're in there together. I think they're individually packaged in here. Don't quote me. Yeah, they are. Okay. I was, I like, they said there was four in here. So I figured, wow, look how tiny they are, y'all. <laughs> this is what they look like when you get them out of the package. But that's cute. That's all we need. So they're almost as small as the little regular ones. But you get four of these in each package so I went ahead and got two of those and this was the newest item I've seen I think we've had like bigger boxes of this in the past this is the Hungry Jack complete original pancake and waffle mix just add water and I'm pretty sure we had bigger boxes but it does say new on it it's a 16 ounce box and it looks like this and you see where it says new but I'm pretty, pretty sure we had the bigger boxes and I gave them away when I found them. So that was pretty cool to find. The best buy date for this is May 16th, 2024. So you can keep that in your pantry for a little while. That'll be nice. Pancakes, waffles. I haven't pulled out my waffle maker in I don't know when. And the next items is just a few, y'all. Just a few of the Valentine's stuff. I know when I say I'm not going to get something, all I got to do is walk in there and I'll find something. But this item I found when I first went out and I didn't get it. I passed on it. But for some reason, I went back and I got it. This is the Chocolatey Rose Net Weight 0.71 ounces. And I've never seen them do the roses like the chocolate roses like this. I don't know who this company is. It is made in Mexico. R.L. Albert and Son in Stamford, Connecticut. And uh, contains milk and soy. May contain traces of tree nuts and peanuts. So, yeah. But I thought it was really, really cute. And it comes in a package like this. So you can gift it just like this. And let's see if it has a Best Buy or expiration date on it. I'm not seeing it right at the moment, so it might be on the inside, but they do have them taped. You can take it out of the box. Let's see what it looks like, because they've never had these here, <laughs> or at least I never saw them. Y'all know I'm old. Things can get by me real quick, so, but I do try to, oh, that's cute. This is all plastic right here. All this is plastic. And then you have the little chocolate, which is open a little bit here. But then you have the little chocolate right in here. That's pretty cute. Oh, it's like in the foil, in the tin foil. Oh, wow. I'm not a chocolate eater like this, but I thought it was really, really cute. It looks like that, like a chocolate rose. So that's pretty cute. I'll reseal this so it doesn't dry out. But they didn't have the top all the way, the foil all the way on it. So I'm going to do that now. But that's what it looks like. I think that's so cute. So you can have a little keepsake with the stem. 
So there you have it with that. And I still don't see a uh, Best Buy or expiration date on it. So we're just going to move right along. <laughs> okay, my sweets. I was trying to, you know, the wheels turning in my brain, trying to figure out what I could put in these as opposed to the mini M&Ms because I really don't eat them. So I either end up giving them away or throwing them away. Most of the time I give them away, but I was trying to think of something I could put in here to make it look a little festive because I have the red one and I have the pink one up here. So I was thinking the same um, table scatter that I hauled before, the 60 piece table scatter, maybe that might fit in there and look cute. Because I don't want anything that, you know, I have to throw away. Sorry, that's my sister's iPad. If y'all hear that little beep in there. I meant to ask her to turn it off, but I forgot. So let's see if my brainstorming will work. Let's see. I might need to go back and get another pack to fill them all the way up. Or I might just leave it because Valentine's is brief. It's very short. And I just want it for a decorative reason, so... Yeah, I could probably use two packs in here. Let's see. We we'll turn it. But, yeah, you could probably use two packs in there. But doesn't that look cute? I thought that was a really, really cute idea. And because I have two of these, like I said, one in the red and one in the pink, I will go back and get two more packs to fill the pink one because I think that's really, really cute. So I'm going to open this one up and pour that in there. I wasn't sure if I was going to need... Um, more than one a piece in there so I just started with the two and I think it's really cute let's see I know I don't want to hold you guys up let's see there you go look at that isn't that cute that's a little sticker I stuck on there last year from my sticker book but I'm not going to try to fill it all the way up because it's just not worth the money but it still looks very very decorative when you see it like that so I got those, and I will go back and get two more packs of those just to fill up the other one. And let's see. Oh, I thought these were so cute, y'all. I got to put these on. They had these in different colors, pink. Uh, oh, God, I forgot all the other colors that they had in them. But y'all know I went for the purple. The purple. <laughs> Oh my words, look at these. Aren't these darling? These are the novelty heart glasses. They look like that. And they had them in different colors, but y'all know I went for the purple or as close to the purple as I could get. And they're heart shaped and they're just clear glasses and you can see very, very well through them. I thought they were so cute for just $1.25. Y'all know, Dollar Tree always gets me with this stuff, <laughs> but I think they're darling. So I got those, and I think that that is it on the Valentine stuff for now. Don't hold me to when I say I'm not buying no more of anything, because y'all know how it is. When you walk into that Dollar Tree, it's just bing, bang, boom, you go blank. <laughs> okay, my sweet, sorry. I thought I bought these the first time I saw them. I don't know if I got charged for them or if they never made it in my cart. I don't know what, but this is the last, for now, of the Valentine's stuff. These are the um, 10 LED string lights in the shape of the hearts. And I could have sworn I have these already, but I cannot find them anywhere in my house. And this is the last thing I'm going to do to that tree is put these little lights on here. So I did take those little tops from the bottles that we got with the lights and I strung one around the tree, but you can't see it right now because the light over in the kitchen is on. But I could have sworn I, I bought these the first time and I looked everywhere. They look like this down on the bottom. You see that? So they're really, really cute. So I'm just gonna string those around the tree and put some batteries in them. Of course, you know, they require um, red lights, three feet long. Um, what's the batteries? Batteries, batteries. Oh, I can't see that small print, but I'm, oh yeah, there they are. Two double double A batteries. So it requires two double A batteries, just like all the other packs. So I'm gonna put that around the tree. Now that the end of the Valentine. For now. <laughs> okay, my sweets. I did go a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. 
on the eco-friendly stuff that they have out at the Dollar Tree right now. I just loved it all. I even might still go back and get a few more. Just maybe to put in that 6K giveaway or just set up for myself. Because I thought they were so cute. But I did purchase the eco-friendly cork pens. And it comes in pink, blue, and I guess beige or black. I don't know what color that is. They are Greenbrier International products. So you get a green uh, three-pack. And they look like this. The eco-friendly eco -friendly cork pens. And you have this beige one right here. Then you have the pink and the blue. I just thought the cork was so, so nice. Sorry about her, her pad. I got to get her to turn that off the next time. Then I got the paper barrel pens. This is in the blue and the green and the beige again. I'm pretty sure that beige is probably a black. I'm not really sure. But it looks like this. And it says um, paper barrel pens. I showed y'all the um, display that they had up there in my local Dollar Tree, which was, I was so, so shook to find it in my store because, you know, they're always tardy to the party. I'm going to check and see what color these beige pens write in. So I have a notebook right here. Let's pull that out. Blue. This writes in blue. So I don't know if all the rest, but it's a nice feeling pen. Yeah, it's really, it feels really good. And then these two, the blue and the lime green, let me say, nope, they're all blue, y'all. All three of them right in blue. So if you think you're getting a different color with them, you are not. They all write in blue. And the Echo Friendly Cork Pens, let's see. I gotta, I gotta investigate. And I can always wrap these back up or put them in different gift boxes if I want to give them away. You don't have to give them in these original packages. So these are the cork ones. These are nice and fat and thick. I like that. Let's see what that looks like. That is a black. So the beige one is black. And the pink and the blue. Let's see. Well, I'm glad I investigated because, yep, all three of those are black. And unless I'm missing it, because y'all know, I done told you before, I'm slow. Nope, they do not tell you what color they write in. So these three, the cork ones, they all write in black. Okay. Okay, my sweets. I went ahead and checked these pens off camera. So these are the fine liners. These are a kind. They say assorted. Um, wheat straw, smooth writing, and these, as you can see, are authentic black, red, and blue. They all write in black, red, and blue. They look like this, and they are the little fine liners, so those are cute. And then I got this one, which is wheat barrel, um, two peas, and these are nice. I like these. They had them in the beige, and they had them in the, like, the lime green. And you have to turn them like this. You have to turn them this way and this way to put it on. And they are in the black, black ink. So I kept pushing this up here trying to get it to come on. And then I realized, oh, it's a turner. It's a turner, y'all. So these were really cute. I might go back and get the two-pack of the beige ones because these are really pretty. I don't know what it is about me and pens, but I guess I have a pen fetish. And I did check these... Um, these are ink highlighters, eco-friendly, bright fluorescent colors made from recycled materials, made from recycled plastic. You get two eco highlighters. They had one in green and orange and one in purple and pink. I wanted the purple and the green, but they didn't come like that. So I got the purple and the pink and they are true to their colors. They are pink and they are purple because I opened them already to check them but i thought all this eco-friendly stuff at the dollar tree was pretty cool especially for a dollar 25 and you can get two you can get two pens in here the fine liners you get three so i thought that was pretty cool so i got those and sticking with the eco-friendly stuff i got some i don't even know what i'm going to do with this but 
It looked interesting. This is the adhesive cork pad foam bottom. So I guess this is for crafters. It doesn't say it's just one pad, I guess. It looks like this. Okay. And it's, this is what it says. And I'm assuming that this is just one piece because it doesn't look like it spreads, but it's the bottom. So if you need to put a bottom to something, you can use this. And it just, it's a Greenbrier International product. And it doesn't say what it's made of. Um, no, do, 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 do. Just says plastic is dangerous. So I don't know. I want to open it. They did have a uh, cork binder that I showed you guys in the previous walkthrough, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. But I didn't get it because I didn't need a three ring binder. Yeah, so it's just like a piece of foam, but it's got the cork on here. So you could put this in a frame and then you can like um, hang earrings or rings or use notes for your kids, you know, on it. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. You could stick thumbtacks in there and leave little messages, whatever. So for $1.25, I thought that was really cool. So I got that and... I thought these were absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to show you this one first. This is the Crafter Square Insert Card Set. It includes four blank cards, four blank inserts, and four blank envelopes. And I just thought that gold was so beautiful. I am going to open this for you guys so you can see it. You see what the little thing right there is? This is what it says. So I'll let you get a look at that. And I know these open up from the bottom, but I can never find that perforation. So, yeah, we're just going to rip it open, rip it open, and see what we got in here. For $1.25, I thought it was a really good deal. So, I guess they're showing you the decorations that you can put on them. You got, whoops, whoops, whoops. You got two of the gold. They look like this. So, you can make your own cards, which I think is a beautiful idea. Then you get two of the red. Isn't that cute? And then you get the inserts, which look like this. Okay. Oh, I thought they had a perfume smell to them for a minute. And then you get two of these, this color of the inserts. Really, really good. This is nice for $1.25 that you get all this in one package. And then you get your four envelopes. So you can make your own cards. I was like, this is so nice. And with all the little cute stickers that they have, you know, in the Dollar Tree, you can decorate your cardstock. I thought that was a really good deal for $1.25. So I got that coming hey, right my up. Sweets. I saw these in a small Dollar Tree here in my town. And at first I found... It's called Crafted Square Crafting Paper Pad. And it was so cute. I found the animal ones first. And all I saw was the fox. <laughs> and once I saw the fox, that was pretty much a wrap status for me. You get 16 sheets, 8 designs, 5 inches by 7 inches, and 8 dozens or something like that. It looks like this. Crafted Square. And then you see the animals. Isn't that cute? I saw that fox and that was it, boy. I was like, oh wow. Then you open it up and it has these vibrant, vibrant pictures of the deer. Oh my goodness. Let me turn the page. You got the owl. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. For a dollar twenty-five. And you get, I can't help it, y'all. You got the little bunny rabbit. I was like, oh my God, these are so darling. I must have them. I believe you get two of each. But this is what drew me in. Fox for the fox. <laughs> fox for the fox. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, that is so darling. Then you go back here and you got the little bird. Isn't that cute? And let's see what else you get back here. Um, I didn't get time to explore this, so, and it's hard to get these papers. Oh, the little squirrel, y'all, look. Isn't he darling? So, I believe you get two sheets of each, is what it's looking like. 
And the last one coming up should be the raccoon because I haven't seen. Yep, it's the raccoon. So there's the raccoon because I didn't see that one yet. So you get two sheets of each and it looks like this. And it, I just think it's so cute. But this one I loved even more because this is crafting paper pad. This is, um, it says use for scrapbooking, decorating, crafting, memory making, etc. 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 Y'all know how I love to say that. And they are um, distributed by Greenbrier International. This one is the inspirational pad. So it just has like little inspirational inserts that says, let's dare to be ourselves, for we do that better than anyone else can. Shirley Briggs. So it looks like that one. Hope you guys can see that. Let me see if I can find a really cute one so I don't have to show you guys the whole pad. Oh, this one's good. This is, the question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. Aaron Rand. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that was cute. So it's inspirational quotes throughout this one, and I really, really loved it. Life isn't about isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Bernard Shaw. So that one looks like that. So I just thought they were gorgeous, and only for a dollar twenty-five, I thought that was so nice. Savor the the moments that are warm and special and giggly. Mm, I like that. <laughs> So I got those two and I really, really fell in love with them when I found them. And the last few items of this um, Dollar Tree haul, you guys, it's going to be a repurchase of this. I bought another one of these dark wood, um, wood bead reefs. And this is going in the 6K um, box because everybody seems to really like these a lot. So you'll have an opportunity to win at least one. If I don't go back and get another one because they're in all the stores now. So, but you should probably be able to find them yourself now because I've seen them in all of my stores. So I did get it to put into the 6K giveaway. And I told y'all I found this one over at the small Dollar Tree. And I just thought that little accent of those two white and black buffalo um, beads was just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. i hauled something like this before with the 10 house on it but it was all beige white and black this one they just added two little um white and black buffalo check beads to it and of course the little tassel and all they're calling it decor <laughs> just decor but that's what drew me in i had to have them so beautiful and then i showed you guys in the walkthrough that they had the monogrammed, um, they're only calling them decor, but they had the monogrammed beads with the black beads. I haven't seen any other color yet, but I did get, of course, S for sweet Santa. <laughs> and since my sister's here right now, I just went ahead and got her A. We call her Nettie, but her name is Annette. So I got her one in the black for A. So I just thought that was so cute. Now she can have it because she wanted it. So, <laughs> and then the last of the crafting items, and y'all know, I keep saying I'm not a DIYer. I might have to mail this off to Miss Laura, Miss Laura, and pay her to paint this for me. But they had these beautiful ginormous birdhouses, craft garden birdhouse, and this is the one with the bumblebees. And y'all know how I feel about the bumblebees. They had. The butterfly, the flowers, <clears throat> and something else. But once I saw the bumblebee, I just grabbed it. Look how big this thing is, y'all. I was like, I need Miss Laura to decorate this for me. And it comes with a nice little heavy set um, thick rope on it. I just thought that was so adorable. I would love to decorate it and put it out on my patio. <clears throat> so it has nothing in there. You can might even put some flowers or something in there. I don't know. I'm not... I told y'all, I'm not a DIYer, okay? But I just thought it was so pretty, and the size was really nice and big. It's not like those little small ones, so I got that. And that's it on the crafting and bead items. And coming up last but not least is the thumbnail. Okay, my sweets. Dollar Tree just keeps on trying to make me into a liar, which I'm not a liar. It's more like a hope. I don't buy any more items. 
Well, when I showed you guys the St. Patrick's Day beads with the little Nomi on the, on the bottom, I was like, I'm not buying no more St. Patty's. I hope. I did add that I hope in there. But today, I couldn't help it. I found St. Patrick's Crew Socks 6 to 12. And lucky I know it. Lucky and I know it. Lucky and I know it. So cute. There is no way in my size. I'm looking for the Valentine socks in my size. I saw them on somebody else's channel. I forgot whose. But they do have some of the um, Valentine socks in uh, 6 to 12. But I have most of them. Y'all know I'm just looking for that gnome one. But when I saw this one, I had to have it. It just says, um, I'm lucky and I know it. And I know it. <laughs> and then it has all the little different gnomes on the bottom. Y'all know these socks sit in my drawer and half the time I don't even wear them. But I still want them. I don't care. So I showed y'all this, the socks and the beads. And then I come across the dish towel. What can I say? What can I say? I had to have him. I just thought he was so cute. Look at that. <laughs> and this is the St. Patrick's towel. It says it is uh, da, 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 Green Briar International. It doesn't tell you the material it's made out of, but it's only going to be a decoration for me anyway. So it really doesn't matter. All I do is hang these up on my cabinets or over my oven door or whatever, you know, or just like you see these flower sack towels here. I'll just hang them on there. I never take these hooks off. I do take the tags off, but I always leave the hooks on so I can hang them around my house. But that is it, you guys. That is the end of my little Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Everyone have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.